My name is Frank Samuel, and I make music out of a suitcase. This year, my friends and I are on a mission to follow suitcase music wherever it leads us and document our adventures along the way. This is Suitcases in Strange Places. The day started like a typical Saturday. Max and I were having a serious discussion about how to promote my most recent EP, Briefcase Suitcase, Volume 1. We need a new coffee maker. If, if that ninja breaks, someone's buying me a new ninja. <laughs> How's it gonna break? Isn't it like meant to grind things? This is Maxwell Wilbur Jamerson, or affectionately, Manager Max. Max is an effective mid-range jump shot and a love for Belizean hot sauce. And believe me when I tell you, it is very hot. Max is a trombone player and has played in the band with me before. We met at the dorms at MTSU, and we've been friends ever since. I don't do that. I'm not a completionist. Some people do that. Momo was 110%, you know, effort all the time. <laughs> yes. No. You gotta start all over. You gotta put another Shout 60 hours in. Shout out to the hack switch. The only place. What are you looking for? <laughs> so 3DS, 3DS charger. Oh. oh. There is a certain magic to an early weekend morning with all the roommates home. There is something to weary eyes, a bustling kitchen, and a stream of endless and meaningless banter. I rarely recall the specifics of these kind of mornings. Nothing important ever seems to happen, but in the same way, everything seems to happen. Once the minds are awake and the coffee is consumed, we usually migrate to the living room to plan the day's events. Maybe I'll sign your contract. Diego's bedroom? Apparently so. It was closer than I wanted it to be. It was like this this old dude came in. Was it 1v1? Uh, yeah. Okay. Max, did you follow up with any of the um, the blogs? I started a couple of them, yeah. I haven't gotten any responses yet. I haven't seen anything. <clears throat> Look for more. Disappointing. Like music yeah, blogs? Mm-hmm. All right, whoops. I'm missing important context here. This is Diego Fernandez, or affectionately... Diego. A self-proclaimed memist and programmer, Diego will be the voice behind the camera for the remainder of our adventures. It's kind of hard for me to imagine Diego without a camera in his hands, and he helped me shoot the cover for Cycle Blue back when we lived in Illinois. As of right now, Diego's being paid an undisclosed amount to act more interested than he probably is. Okay, Max, get this. What? The highest, this is from the Googles, the highest altitude concert on land was... 21,984 feet, achieved by Tatiana Stupak on Mount, how do you want to say that? Mount Argentina. That's not Argentina, <laughs> that's the, the one before that. Did you say 21,000 feet? A, a Concagua. Yeah, a Concagua. This is on the Guinness World Records website. 21,000 feet? Yeah. The 15 minute solo performance was performed to 30. <laughs> I mean, maybe we... Maybe you could jump. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what if we did it for suitcase music? It's like its own, is its own, like, genre or, like, identifier? I mean, I can't, I mean... The Guinness record book put you in for anything. They really, yeah. It, like, if you can't break it, just be more specific. Yeah, so, right? <laughs> yeah exactly, right? Subcategory, right? Well, subcategory. It's like, category, I'll, elevation, subcategory, suitcase. I hate that it's raining. I know. It's even raining in game. How high can you? <laughs> it's ready to get FIFA too. Well, no, it's clearing up kind of. Um, still drizzling. Maybe we should. We honestly might need to get some umbrellas, but mine I is need to bring a lightning rod. <laughs> I'll get up to the suitcase. <laughs> Houses are built with brick right. and mortar, well, we but homes are built on people, and these are good people. With the day planned, we knew we needed some protection from the rain, but sometimes it's hard to get good people into the car. I've never been in our backyard except for when the house was flooding. Yeah, because you can't. Like, wait, this house flooded? Yeah, the fucking one it's of the pipes holes, broke. You guys are like on the hill. Oh, yeah, it was from the inside, bed. huh? Even like even with the water running, we're dripping. It froze. And, and the reason these cabinet doors are not like closed is because they're not like it's, they won't close. I think they painted the hinges or something. Yeah. That's stupid. They did. Yeah. Alrighty. So do you usually produce music in the kitchen, Zach? Uh, well, I didn't expect my computer to die. I was going to show Murat a drum loop. But for now, I'll charge it up here under the bananas. Nice. Positive energy. Make the music bananas. Eventually, we all did make it into the car. 
Umbrellas are the kind of thing that you generally don't think about until after you need one. I thought this was going to be a short trip, but sometimes even the most simple missions can prove very difficult. Umbrellas. I thought Walmart tried me crazy. You see, no umbrella. I feel, like, I feel like that's a mixed bag, but yeah. It's crazy that somebody said. Why is you, as a grown man, asking a Walmart associate for help? <laughs> Just look around. They're gonna be up front towards the jewelry department. They're gonna be by the purses. On awesome. The back side. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. D30. Is that awesome? Yeah. A little too late, Max. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I got it, but you were far away. <laughs> All right, everyone pick your favorite. Predominantly, they're cheaper. The first thing we learned is that bringing a camera into public spaces garners a lot of attention. The second thing we learned is that most people were very supportive of our record-breaking intentions. And Say it again? We're trying to play, I play music out of a suitcase, so we are working to play it at the highest elevation of all time. Yeah, we're going to the AT&T building later, we're going to try getting up top to their conservatory. I make yeah. music my damn self. Do you actually? Yes, I rap. You sick, I Frank, I Frank. Beats. My name is Adrian Bud on social media, Bino. Dots Ooh. in between the name, broke is no option if you want to know what Bino stands for. Hey. You got so. that on the Walmart tag? <laughs> yeah, that's my alias, I'm saying. <laughs> all right, we got it all? All right, sick. Yeah. Did you get, oh no, did we get the receipt? No. Where's there no receipt? Oh, no, I didn't even put my card in yet. <laughs> oh, there's like the security guard like right there too, just like watching the whole thing. He's definitely gonna ask for this receipt. My only fear was that we would garner attention from the wrong people and perhaps jeopardize our mission. Oh yeah. Sorry, sir, you're getting too rowdy, you're gonna have to leave. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all, that, all the Got disturbance it. we're causing, yeah. eh? Although early designs for the umbrella date back as far as 350,000 BCE, it wasn't until the 18th century that British philanthropist Jonas Hanway popularized the common accessory among men. So, if you want to experience what it felt like to be a British man on a rainy day in the 17th century, all you have to do is take down your umbrella and exclaim, wow, I guess there's nothing I can do. Red, yellow, and green peppers, and mushrooms, and everything kind of looks... No, I grilled them. Oh, yeah. Did you know that there are four million songs on Spotify that have never been played? Not a single time. Trying to promote an EP in an oversaturated music market is very difficult. So if the blogs don't want to write about a normal EP, they'll have to want to write about a Guinness World Record breaking EP. Our plan is simple. Break the world record for suitcase music played at the highest elevation. But first, lunch. When the roommates and I want a sandwich, we generally head to Mitchell's in East Nashville. Today, we're gonna to go with Max's recommended order of the smoked barbecue beef brisket sandwich. It's got elements of, of, of Southern Tennessee. There's the, there's the cut. You got cilantro. You got some like onion jelly. You got some barbecue sauce, some mayo, some mustard. I like this sandwich a lot, baby. Your hair's looking yeah, incredible today. Thanks, man. It's I wish I had it like you, I'm balding. It's the moistness. <laughs> This is Cameron Vaughn Bortz, or affectionately, Cam. Cam and I first bonded over our mutual love of chess. Both an incredible musician and doomsday prepper, Cam once dropped out of college to join the circus. And that's a true story. French dip. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> Did you get a French dip also? Yeah. No way. No, I just Anjou. We're united in dip. You can dip together. Oh. After a quick lunch and a thorough discussion on the necessity of the third piece of bread in a club sandwich, we were ready to start our adventure. However, after checking my car, I realized I had forgotten a vital speaker cable for the suitcase setup and had to stop and pick it up. Forever and ever, forever, that means forever. Forever and ever, forever. Cam and I run a small studio space in Midtown, and this is where the magic happens. 
I find it a lot more effective than making music in my bedroom. Long story short, when looking for a place to rent, I hit on my old friend, Professor Fox, who then referred me to this guy. Essentially, Mark, we are on a uh, mission today. We are off to break a Guinness World Record. Uh, we're gonna go to the top, well, we're gonna try to go to the top of the AT&T building and play suitcase music and submit for the highest elevation of suitcase music ever played. Oh, that's what's up, okay. Yeah, so that's what that's what we were on. So we bought a bunch of umbrellas because it was raining. Do you have the stuff. current record of um, that? Mark is an all around cool guy. On top of helping me fix the masters for Briefcase Suitcase Volume 1, he also runs The Hideout, the first studio in Nashville I found to cater to hip hop. We spoke on a variety of topics, including the best place to find music in the city. Also, that's where the shows are at. Like Bad Weather, shout out Bad Weather. They are putting on the best underground shows in Nashville right now. Ooh, wow. Zach had to leave us to make his bar shift to three. The rest of us slowly made our way into the downtown to complete the day's mission. Nashville's a bustling city on the weekends, but just like any major city, you never know what you're gonna run into on any given day. Uh, let's see if, there, if, there's, if there's not parking here, I'm gonna... Breast ...and added muscle. They got women taking testosterone shots to grow facial hair more than a man. Maybe the men need some more testosterone. What you think about that barbecue shot? For all the brothers who can't go beers, take your testosterone shot and get you a full beer. You understand? But we're here to show our people that when you let women rule, this is what you have. If you don't like the condition of black men, Hispanic and Native Americans, who's to blame that? Outside of our oppressors, of course the women, because they have been ruling over our people, and this is what they have produced. You understand? Uh, let, me, let me tell you something else about the great mistake they have made. The greatest mistake our women has made was this. One, is not serving the Most High. That's the first great mistake, and not knowing that your people have an identity, a culture to are investigating a Christmas morning explosion that rocked downtown Nashville and appeared to be intentional. The early morning blast left fires and a smoky scene above the city. At least 20 buildings in the area were damaged and three people were injured. Police said they were responding to a call of shots fired when they Like, we hate women and this and this and that's why our this and this is this. Shut up and love, bro. Give somebody a hug. Go get a fucking Mountain Dew. The world can be a dark and scary place at times. Do your best not to add to it. As suitcase music takes us on adventures through the unknown, we must be aware that there is danger around every corner. For the safety of myself, as well as my constituents, it is vital that we're able to build up and break down the suitcase setup with maximum efficiency. One, two, three, go. Halfway. Don't rush me, Max. You know, if you, if you take too much time with working on the stand, the stand could be really <coughs> a number of distances. But if you work on the plugs first, I really think that that's where we can cut down important and lost time. 54 seconds. If you've got four more seconds, we can do it in under a minute. We only need 10 seconds of air time for this to count for your world record. We'll be right back. Completed in 1994, the AT&T building stands as the tallest building in all of Tennessee. However, locals often refer to it as the Batman building. This is because of the unobvious reason that the two antenna that sit atop the tower stand as a memorial for Bruce Wayne's parents. With the suitcase setup practice, we were finally ready to break a world record. While hopes were high, there was an uncertainty in the air. We didn't know if they'd allow us to play in the building, so we decided to take every precaution necessary. So here's the plan. Diego, you, me, we're gonna to try to go to the main entrance and see if they'll let us up. I think if we don't come in with all the gear immediately, it might do us a little bit better. And then we'll see if they let us play. In case they didn't allow a camera inside, we set up cam with a secret GoPro. According to what I read on the internet, we only had to play the song for 10 seconds for official world record consideration. 54 seconds of setup, 
10 seconds to play. All we needed was a minute and four seconds. You know, my hopes are higher than they should be. You know, I mean, we are breaking a Guinness World Record. I can't imagine, like, imagine being like, you know what? I want to shatter your hopes and dreams. Yeah, well, I don't think that, I don't, I don't think they're going to do that to us. I thought they'll be nice, courteous people. Yeah, very understanding of my musical dreams. Here goes nothing. Sperm a lot. Well, you may have to be buzzed in. Was that other entrance open or closed? The one we were by? We were plenty of time, baby. It's open. It's open. Let's back to the boys and figure this out. See, this is why you can't trust Google for none. Did it say it was open at yeah, 3 Well, o it's still 6, supposedly, oh, but okay. apparently I should have been looking at Apple Maps. The disappointment on my face was obvious. Like that it seemed that a single locked door stood between me and a Guinness World Record. No, because then they However, we decided to regroup, think of a new plan, and continue on the day's mission. Standing at an elevation of 744 feet, Love Circle is a popular park here in Nashville. Known for its beautiful view of the city skyline, as well as being a destination for picnics and young love. Even I've been on a date here. However, after finding out that she had a boyfriend, it really turned out to be more of a love triangle. According to Greek mythology, Sisyphus was forced to roll a boulder up a hill in Hades for the rest of eternity. What no one told Sisyphus was, is that if he had put the boulder in a suitcase, it may have been a lot easier. However, after carrying a suitcase around all day with little success, it was easy to sympathize with his situation. However, our luck was about to change. Yeah. We're about to break a world record right now. Probably like... It's kind of... At least 10 I've, You know, this will be my first one. And... Yeah. Like, probably like 100 you know, or... Trying to take in every second of the moment, you know? I was in, uh, Just good. I was in Just good. Triumph can be felt a million ways. Sometimes it is the Gatorade container poured over the head coach. Sometimes it is an outcry, and sometimes it is a tear. But my triumph was setting up the suitcase to the beautiful skyline of Nashville, the city I called home. It was finally time to break a world record. We were approached by a curious group of onlookers. They were happy to celebrate this historic moment with us. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah, so we've been trying. We were today. We were today. Our goal was to get the. We tried to go into the AT and T building, but apparently that's closed. Oh. So this is our next best place to think. Okay. Seven hundred and forty-four feet, feet above sea level. If you wanted to know. Wow. But yeah, so we are. So we played it, and we got some video footage. So we're going to submit it to the. Guinness World Record book. And Are you serious? Yeah, see what happens. Congratulations. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. There were smiles all around. It felt good, like we had accomplished something major today. 
To celebrate, he called up Zach like usual and asked him if there was a spot open at the bar. Can you blow a kiss to the camera? Like the stories my grandfather told, I had always dreamed of being able to walk into a bar and have the bartender know me by name. That is made considerably easier when your roommate works at a bar. The day was winding down. There was only one thing left to do. New York. New York. When you put the, when you put the return address, it's on the left or the right side. Right, what's our zip code? 37207? I think you're right. Putting this in the mailbox that I'll get confirmation. Something to hang on the wall, you know? Should be cool, I think. What a day. Okay. What a day. Very it, busy, got a few drinks at the end of the day. Yeah, it honestly, nice. it was, it was, uh, damn well needed. <laughs> Uh, they don't realize how hot the suit coat is. <laughs> As you walking around in it casual. It's pretty funny. See these, you see these, hold up, you see these? Like you see, you see these pimples on my face? <laughs> I'm like spitting, spitting water. I'm stressing all week, baby. This is what happens. Wipe the city off your face, man. <laughs> <laughs> right? Here is my big bookshelf. I one day I want to be an official library, which supposedly, if you own a thousand books, you officially have a library. And I'm not close yet, and honestly, books are terrible to carry, so I've given a lot away, but I'm kind of keeping some. What's up with these figurines here? This is, <laughs> this is my, my grandmother gave me these. She was also a fan of the X-Files. I love the X-Files. And so I have multiple Mulders and Scullies. Apparently I have one of Zach's Smurfs, <laughs> just also, <laughs> I don't know why he's here. Does Zach have a bunch of Smurfs? One day, look at me, one day ask Zach about Smurfs. Um, Nick gave me this task cam, which I have to fix yet. I sometimes like having projects where I can like just tinker, like even if I destroy this thing, I won't be like upset, but like I kind of think it'd be cool to have a working task cam. So I tried cracking it open once didn't really get that far. It's back to back kind of normal. Um, well, this is where I sleep. Um, it's kind of, as you can see, the blankets aren't in any of the right spots. As plain Jane as it gets, man. It is plain Jane, man. I, honestly, and I'm not going to lie to you. You see where that pillow is? Mm -hmm. I sleep this way. So I like having my <laughs> head by the window. And then I don't know why I like curling up. So you can kind of see like the indent in the bed where it like folds down. The boy got slapped like yeah. in front of us all, dude. That was like that was a His great mama night. Mama kicked us all out. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. No, this was. But Brian took all of these photos, and I literally bought two of his books just so I could tear the pages out and hang them on my wall. That's how much I love those. Pretty good photos. photo book, right? Oh no, I have a I have a copy. Like, see here, I have a copy. This is Hirsch's. This is Hirsch's flip book. This shit is amazing. I have my. This is the actual. This is the. Uh, this is the. Is that the title? Archives, Volume One, Faces. But yeah, but this is like this is where all like, see, carbon pumpkins, baby. Oh, it's you and me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, this is one of my favorite photo books ever. I have the suitcases for. I'm gonna move. I have these suitcases for a lot of reasons. It depends. Like for example, um, I try to get suitcases as often as I can. Um, so let's see. So this one, Zach got me, um, and it has. You can see it has like the travel sticker. It's like partly torn off. And that's really sick. So I've done this when I performed at the end recently. This was my prop suitcase for the show. I like packed a bunch of stuff in it and then unpacked it. This one I bought at Anaconda Vintage. 
Um, I wanted this one for a while, but you know what the problem is? I love this one because I put my merch in it, but if you carry it around, I'm not gonna like try to do it, but like if you carry it around, this part just falls off and then like open? the merch falls everywhere. Um, <laughs> I've dropped my merch like on the ground before shows. Oh, it says your name <laughs> on it. This one I painted my name on, although I'm not gonna lie to you, the way that I spaced it was kind of bad. And it kind of drives me crazy every time I see it. But ever, if I go to a show and it's like, I don't think they're going to know who I am. Like, this is kind of cool to be like, oh, hey, it's me. You know, like, listen to my music. It's cool. And then this one. Um, What's in there? You know, I don't actually know if I remember where I got this one. But, I mean, you can kind of tell <laughs> from a lot of them. I do get a lot. Yeah, I don't remember. I actually don't remember that one. Um, but yeah, but I have like, but I honestly like to me, it's like I try to think of the colors I have. So sometimes I get like colors of these suitcases, and it's like, ooh, pretty green, ooh, pretty brown, and then I'm just like, ooh, it's like, it's cool. Um, but yeah, but so I'm starting collecting. I kind of think that I'd like to keep collecting, but also like, as you can see, they take up a lot of room, so. As a famous poet once wrote, I took the road less traveled by. And damn, there's a lot of suitcases on this road. I doubt my life will change significantly as a Guinness World Record holder. And honestly, I hope that is true. Today was a great day. Here's to many more with good friends, good food, and good music. My name is Frank Samuel, and this is Suitcases in Strange Places.